Hey up Blues fans, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's okay. Uh, so look, sorry I couldn't upload the video yesterday, I just had a, a proper busy day and I thought I'll do it tomorrow, obviously many a day. And if anyone wants to watch it, you can watch it and you, if you like me, I'm, I'm always looking for a bit of fresh blues content so I thought I'll upload it anyway. But uh, what, what beat Warsaw 1-0 away? Uh, I'll tell you what, best got stadium, you know, it's not... Yeah, he says it only holds 11,500, I thought it was a decent size, well maintained, I thought the staff were friendly. Probably nice ground, I thought. I, I didn't mind it at all. Um, I, going into the game, I did think, like, I did think we put a few past them, if I'm honest. I saw Villa went there a few weeks ago and put three past them. And yeah, I, I guess we was all kind of thinking, if we can do that to Rangers, then we're bloody hell, we'll tear Warsaw. But fair play to Warsaw before we even get started. I thought they put on a really good performance and did themselves proud. Set up defensively and almost achieved what they set out to do and hit us on the counter. But I, Thought they looked very good. Um, you know, just warming up before the game, I was watching the lads warm up. I got there proper early. I did. I got there about quarter past 12 and was watching them all warm up. And I thought Jordan James looked very happy, very settled. Didn't look like a lad that was on his way out the door, but that's obviously me just thinking, come on, don't go. Two midfielders and then I'd pay if we didn't manage to keep hold of him. And uh, uh, Mark Leonard. I thought you need more than that, don't you? In the, the centre mid, not about four in the can, but thought. We'll see what happens there. I saw it with Reed on our effort, Reed up our effort, efforts for Scott Twine from getting my words out. But um, yeah, everyone looked in high spirits, really happy. Um, kind of four on the bounce, including the Warsaw win. I'm not counting the Aldershot game conveniently because it's not the first team, is it? So I'm not counting that. It's four in the bounce going into the West Brom game this Saturday. Can't moan it, that's good form. Um, I thought. I thought the lads looked well, and you know what, it was almost good to see a different type of game, because that's kind of what we're going to be up against a lot of this season, now I understand Warsaw are League 2, so their plan, the League 1 teams will execute it a little bit better, maybe be a bit more clinical when they did counter-attack, uh, but to see the lads so patient, you know, they didn't lose their heads, even uh, Chris Davis mentioned it after the game, he thanked the fans for their patience. I think he understands it's going to be games, and as much as he says he don't want possession without intent, I get that. But intent doesn't always mean scoring a goal. Intent means going forward, creating opportunities, see where the gaps open up. So sometimes it is going to take the best part of 70 minutes to get the opening goal. I understand that, and I think you guys do as well. When a team sets up, it it's, it, it asks a lot of quality for the dominating team. It, it you know. The amount of time Sanderson, we played the ball, Sanderson to Laird, Laird had a look, nothing going on. Sa Laird back to Sanderson, Sanderson to Bailey, tried the other way. Just keep trying, the gap will open up, they'll fatigue, they'll tire, and the goal will come in the end. And it, and it did in the form of a brilliant Sanderson pass to Jordan James. Jordan James out to the wing. Uh, beautiful ball in, Alfie May, you know, he's going to finish that all day, put it on a plate for him. But it is nice to have a striker, let's not gloss over it that's in that position and has the quality to score. Because, you know, I'm sitting here saying he'll score that all day. The past few seasons, we haven't had a striker that would score that. We, we haven't had a... Scott Hogan would have been on the wrong side of the defender and, you know, wouldn't have put that away. So that's the that's the level of quality we're dealing with. Alfie Mann's a born finisher. You know, I keep seeing the term bags, man. He is a bags, man. You know, that is what he does all day. He's, his family were in the stand. They looked very happy, very proud of him, and he looked chuffed that they were there. So that, that was nice. Um, yeah, I thought we looked really good as a team. I thought I thought Dembele looked good, and I know people criticised him a little bit because he does lose the ball, and I get that. But as a fullback man, I wouldn't want to be up against Dembele. It's just a long day, isn't it? You just don't get a break every time he's going to try to do step overs. You know, my only criticism is that he holds onto the ball for a bit too long in some occasions. The pass opened up and he took another two touches and the opportunity is gone or now the pass gets intercepted. But I tell you what, watching Dembele, in, because the Wolves, uh, Bescott's obviously a small stadium, you're very close to the players, you don't really appreciate how fast he is. He doesn't look fast on the TV or when we watch him at St Andrews, but in person, man, he looks rapid. It's weird. So Laird, Laird's frightening me fast though. Um, I thought all the players looked very good. I thought Laird come out with Good ideas, you know, he's a winger now basically, he's a second winger. He sits on the halfway line when we've got the ball. So does uh, Cochran on the other side, and they've learned to, to alternate very well. 
And the one thing I did notice, and my dad also mentioned it, so it's nice when someone reaffirms it. When Dembele plays, Cochrane doesn't go forward as much. And that's obviously an observation either by him or Chris Davies or the team in general to say, look, when Dembele is in the ball, if he loses it, he ain't going to track back and help you. Sometimes he did, to be fair to him in that game, but Cochrane, the licence to go forward isn't there when Dembele is playing. Whereas when Hansen is, we saw him track back and put in a tackle a few times. And also, Hansen's style of play isn't as prone to losing the ball. Do you know, he will pass it back if the options aren't there rather than try and step over and take it around someone. Um, so I did notice Cochrane, it, it kind of shuts him out for the game, but it means you get more out of him defensively and more out of him in general in the 90 minutes. If you're going to dominate the game and you can't go forward, you know, you're going to be stood in the same kind of 10 squared metres. Do you know what I mean? Just Sanderson, Dembele, Sanderson, Dembele, OP, Keegan. But uh, to see your team play like that, because they were good, they you know a few times they could have scored. Peacock, Farrell, some immense double saves, took one straight to the face. Looked like a keeper, you know. When you think, oh, we've got a bloody keeper, you know, we, we dealt with John Ruddy for a bit, and John Ruddy. Some people said he was a good shot stopper. He was all right, I thought. His distribution was awful. Um, we've, we've just had a host. I, I think back to the Lee Camp days, where Lee Camp just didn't look comfortable when he had the ball in his hands for you know putting it down for a goal kick. And uh, I just think it's so nice to have a keeper one, once the defender's beaten. But, but when our defenders used to be beat, we used to get the goal. And now there's actually a small chance that like that head in hands moment, we think he could save this. And, you know, he did a few times and I thought it's so nice to have the security at the back. And it's got to be nice for Sanderson and Bailey to think, you know, as much as they've stepped up, that there is even a safety net for them guys in Peacock Farrell. Or also, you know, Allsop's just as good. I, I personally, I think Peacock Farrell will be our first team keeper after seeing them performances. But then I also wouldn't be surprised if Allsop started against West Brom, you know, to give him his fair chance. So, look, it's, it's going to be a... That's going to be a game, guys. Make sure you get your tickets. We'll try... It'd be wicked if we could sell that out. I know it's a big ask because it's pre-season. But if we could sell that game out, that'd be bloody brilliant, that would. Um, I'll be going. I think my brother's coming. He, he, he don't really come to games. He's not really into football, but I think even he's got the Birmingham City bug at the minute. So, um, Yeah, I, 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 was, I thought it was a great day out, a good game. I mean, um, who else looked comfortable? Thor, oh, I saw some people saying that Thor didn't look that great. I didn't mind him. I thought he showed bits of quality where, you know, he was right in the middle of a 5-3, do you know what I mean? He was kind of sitting in between them. So he was constantly surrounded and done well with the small opportunities he was given, I thought. Um, as a cam in that, in, in that sort of setup, it's going to be hard for you. You're not going to have much space. Um, I don't doubt on another day that he would have had a few shots on target. No complaints from me, if I'm honest. Um, and you know what? I, I, I can't help but feel maybe I'm looking at the players in a in a lighter, in a more positive way because of the form that we're in. Because that's generally what you do as a fan when a player kind of has an off day, but the overall form of the team is good and the results are good. You kind of have a license to think, ah, you know, he was all right. He, it's, it's like we give them the benefit of the doubt now. Whereas the old Birmingham say, yeah, you shit, yeah, you shit, yeah, you don't care, yeah, you don't care, rah, rah, rah. Yeah, It's just the overall, uh, you know, feeling from the fans to the club is it starts off more positively doesn't it and you work your way from there you come into match days on an 8 out of 10 rather than a 5 out of 10 do you know what I mean and everything from there has a bit more of an emotional impact because of the form that you're in so yeah good good day out 1-0 can't moan solid performance that's the type of game we're going to be having a lot this season don't get me wrong I know we're going to score some goals this season there are going to be some bloody boring games this season but I'll take boring. I'll take that. I'll take, oh, we were, you know, we went there, we had 65% possession with four shots on target and couldn't get a goal, nil nil. <laughs> I'll take that. Blue 65% possession. Do you know what I mean? Blue 65% possession. Oh, oh, hard day at the office. Mate, I'm, I don't think I've ever seen blues above 50% possession. You know, there are, there are many days like that. You know, travelling down to bloody Stephen Angel or whatever. Look, don't worry, man. 
good times good times man uh, even the bad days are going to feel better than they previously did honestly our bad days are now going to feel like you know oh, you don't know that bad is it at least we would I know I'm waffling a bit only a short one today guys just wanted to talk to you guys and let you know what I saw in the game um, also the, uh, the positive feedback on the videos man it really makes me happy honestly there's a I feel like we got our own little community growing in the channel with the comments and everything. It's a proper good feeling and uh, I, I like talking to you guys in the comments. So keep them coming man, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, I'll put a few clips in now of uh, a few videos and pictures I took pre-game if you want if you want to see them. There's just some random stuff that I took. Um, I, think, I, I find it hard I do, you know, I'm supposed to be a YouTuber and take good clips of the game. When I'm at the game, I just want to watch a game. And uh, I need to kind of get that going and actually start getting some footage for you guys. And I will in the season. I'll start, I'll start taking some actual videos and pictures. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you soon. Take it easy.